Good Things Utah Grilling and Kitchen segment sponsored by Anvil Appliances, your Napoleon Grill headquarters. Welcome back to Good Things Utah. I am with Chef Vaughn. We are outside dressing up a burger. Although I love talking to you. We were just I just said I made brats on the grill last night and he said, do you poach them first? And I said, I read that you're supposed to do that, but I didn't do that, but that's a good tip. Yes, great, good, great tip. And you know, for bar burgers, the great tip is use great meat. We're gonna start with some Bear Lake beef, right from Utah here. Utah beef, it's, that's what we're doing. Utah beef, it's great stuff. All we do is put salt and pepper on it. Then this Napoleon press makes it really easy to make that work. So no, I've never seen one of these. It, you, you just press it in there and it makes the perfect makes, burger, Makes huh? the perfect burger. And you just put it oh, on the grill. Right, right okay. there, just boom, right there. Look at that, look that's at that burger that's already going over there. And look at the cheese. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Is Wait. that Utah cheese also? You know that is Cache Valley cheese, exactly Cache right. Cache Valley cheese. Yeah, exactly right. Well, that's and the... we have some things from our garden too. We do, we do. I you know, from my, my, my friend's garden, we have some jalapenos from my friend's garden. Tomatoes from my own garden. <gasps> you uh, grow beautiful <laughs> tomatoes, Chef Vaughn. Utah makes easy tomatoes. They're, they're just the best. And so lettuce isn't from the garden. That's from the store of avocados. I was just in California last week, and I had to have an avocado in this. because I love our, avocado. I love avocado. Well, there are so many things that you can put on a burger, but I love the ideas that you're giving us today. Yeah. And, you know, and the, the, you know, the rosemary from our own garden, from the Channel 4 garden. Come and on, you let's... throw this in your anvil grill. I do. I throw it right in the pulling. In fact, we'll throw another batch in there. Is it just oh, yeah. smokes it up so good. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It does, it smokes it up, and it's like a subtle flavor with yeah. it all. Yeah, it's delicious. Just it's delicious so good. Smell. Okay, what do you have going over there? Well, onions? Grilled, grilled onions, that always goes on a good burger. You I know, grilled, love grilled onions. And I had to throw some jalapenos in there, that's just what I like. You know, this is brilliant. Here, so. And we're going to cook off an egg now, Reagan, so we need to oh, put an egg okay. on top. Egg on a burger. Now, I've seen this on a menu before, but I've never had egg on a burger. So it could be kind of a brunch dish this way. So we're okay. going to crack an egg into a pan. We can do it a couple of ways. We're going to do it right on the, in the pan. Let that cook right there. And that's the nice thing about this grill is that you can do something on the side. You do the pans, you know, not only grill the stuff off with the meat on the sear burner, but you can also cook, uh, use a pan to boil those brats right here on the grill. Exactly, I could have done them right here. And then I them. can then throw them. Exactly oh, right. that would have been a good idea. Would have been perfect. Let's, let's just uh, take this, this bun and toast that up. What kind of bun, is that an onion bun? onion bun, yeah. Yum. Nothing like the, you know, the best for, for Channel 4. So toast that, look how fast this is gonna toast off. Look at, that's already, Done. Oh gosh, now you just made it fancy. Yeah, just well and, and toast it off. I like a little toast on the I main do too. You know? Okay, so but, what's happening with the egg over here? What well, are we are you gonna flip the egg? I, I was gonna have you do that, Greg. I, I don't know if I can do it. Let's, I don't want to mess do it up together. the grill. Let's do it together okay. then, okay? Me, okay? me and you. We get it to the front. Okay. And we'll go boom. Good job, oh, Reagan! I'm amazing! What a, you're awesome! <laughs> Way to go! Whoa. Oh gosh, though, look how good that looks. I know, it's going to be awesome. And do you just put a little butter in the bottom, or what do you do? I put a lot of butter in the a bottom. A lot of butter yeah, in the bottom. Just, well, because we're not kidding around with this burger. I tell you, that's all the way or nothing here. You so know, funny, is... Chefon, when I have a hankering for a good burger, it, I freak out. I have to have it. Yeah, you have to. You have to. When you have a good burger, you, you have do. to just make it happen. All so, right, so we also have some bacon over here. We have bacon, so we're going to put bacon on. We had mayonnaise down there, because the mayonnaise just go good. I love we mayonnaise. We did on our toasted. We're going to put the... Do I need to spread it around? Yeah, spread it around a little bit. There I need, I'll spread gotta... it around with the bacon. Yeah, there we go. Boom. I'll use the bacon as a tool. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Put see, some grilled onions and peppers on there. We're going to have this burger the right way. Onions and peppers down. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That we'll looks put some, incredible. Put our, our our burger on top of all that. Look at that. And look at that cheese. Oh That's my some gosh. Some avocado. Oh, we have to try to fit the egg on top. Well, put the avocado on the side. Like okay, I said, we'll you know, put the we avocado go. on yeah, the side. Go. That's a good idea. Put the egg, egg on top of all that. So here we go. I'm Chef Bon, are you going to be able to get your mouth around this thing? You know it's going to be pretty hard. I have a big mouth, but uh, it's going to be pretty hard to do that. But look that. at that. On top of the. All right, if I'm sitting here thinking I want one of these Anvil grills, what do I do? You come by Anvil in Salt Lake City or Brigham City and, uh, and come and see me. And come and see you. And because if you, do, if you do, we're going to give you a free knife. <gasps> and that's a, a nice a knife. A Napoleon knife. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great like a one. $25 value or something. Like I that. love so, it. So we did, And we have the tomato, we have the lettuce, we have all this on the side. So you just kind of have all the fixins, and then everybody can put whatever they want on their exactly. burger. Yeah, exactly right. This it's, is a great idea. It's, it's the best. We cut so it in half let's cut it in half. Let's, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to try it. It's good enough. Let's see if we can Go get it. Go check out Anvil Grills and Appliances. Chef Vaughn makes them all look so great because he's so good at it. Oh, just look at that little, little piece there. Mm, mm. That's amazing. Let's just take a peek we'll inside. We'll put this all on our website. Oh, look Go at it. to Good for You Channel. Oh, beautiful like, that is. Look that's... at that. Yeah, I want you to have a bite. Oh, that's going to be. Because I have to tease next. Okay, I'll, I'll have a bite. Here we go. Take Boom. a bite. Ready? Mm. Go for it. Oh. Amazing. Breakfast. Breakfast and lunchtime. Breakfast and lunch. Chef Vaughn, thank you so much. All right, coming up next, Zero Res is talking about empowered water, why it's better than soap. We'll be right back.